love. Now, when you're pissed off like me, you fucking litter. There's the fucking, what's that to my food tray? There's the, the fucking fork. There's the fuck, fucking plastic bag. The fucking napkins. And don't forget the fucking, don't forget the fucking goddamn receipt, goddammit. Yeah, don't forget the chopsticks. And don't forget the goddamn sauce. And because these girls do not think I'm a good looking guy here at Starbucks, it's time to play the game called Pissy Pissy. Try to piss into the goddamn cup. You do it, set a spit. Okay. Now. I just got a ticket. Get, 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 get. Berkeley Mall Security notice of prohibited entry. So I'm banned from this place for six months for swearing disorderly conduct. Oh well. But the deputy was nice. He said that he hated to do it for me, so that made, you know. So I'm not going to be all smart alecky about this. Because he cared. But fuck this shit whole place anyway, it ain't from shit anyway, so I ain't gonna miss shit. Once again, here's the ticket. Christopher Claver, 7-5-2013. 20... I'm in here. 35. You are right. Play it here by place on notice. If you have been forbidden or prohibited from breathing during the premises of... I'll fuck it. You read the shit yourself if you want to read it. <laughs> Man, I'm getting banned from everywhere. Because I'm such a fucking loser. No sugar tonight in my coffee. No sugar tonight in my coffee. Instead, that piss. Piss on their head. It's raining piss on their goddamn head. Ha! 
Because <laughs> I'm pissed off. Because I'm going to make it piss on people. Do you get the fucking picture? You goddamn son of a fucking ass, goddamn fucking sucking dick sucking fucking bitch. Hell, if I can't be a rapper, because nobody's fucking listening because, not because I can't rap, because I don't look good. I don't look like Justin Bieber. I don't look cute. God damn it, any old ugly ass, but but ugly fucking son of a bitch can be a fucking criminal. I just got to start gradually doing worse and worse crimes till I graduate to a higher level. What I'd really love to do is drug running so I could fucking get some big money. So I could get the cosmetic surgery. Even if I don't become a rapper, at least if I'm a good looking guy and I have those long arms so I don't have that blue balls anymore, I'm happy. Right now, I'd just like to get on fucking Dr. Oz and get a cure for these fucking pains instead of a lifetime of treatments. Which I ain't even got that. Doctors can't figure out what the fuck these goddamn fucking pains are. So God fuck it, fuck you, fuck your American society. You get what you deserve if I become a criminal. If I become a drug runner, I hope I poison you kids. For ignoring me and my pain and not doing a goddamn thing to help me feel better. <laughs> what I need to know is... How do you start a drug business? Where do you buy? What do you do? Do you buy? Where do you buy from? Where you can buy from people and sell it and make a good profit? What's the point, fucking point of doing it if you're not gonna make a good profit? It's all about the bottom fucking line. Because you can't just jump into drug running. You gotta build credibility for these drug runners to trust you. Well, I guess I could always, oh fuck it, maybe if I could go to Mexico and meet some of those, not Mexico, but go to El Paso and meet some of those Mexicans you see in the clubs all doled up in the suits with the pretty women and befriend them, and then once they be in their graces, ask them, how do you make this money? That's all this on YouTube video, and they tell you, ask if there's a place for you to run some drugs, I mean, don't do anything Dangerous, just one of those play, one of those drug it's running where they have a stash right on the edge of what is. You get right on the edge of what is. You get pick it up and take it on the edge of El Paso, and you make a few hundred bucks. But hey, it's a start. You do that enough, you have enough for at least maybe the fucking. Something cosmetic surgery. Oh, one law, man, the supply and, and the, the law of supply and the man don't give a shit about the law of the land. You see this shit? You see this shit? You know this shit didn't have to happen tonight. If only those girls wouldn't have turned their nose up at me and walked away from me while I was talking to them. Because I'm not attractive. If I'd have been good looking, they'd have stopped. And let me finish talking to them. If only I was a good looking guy. If only I was satisfied with how long my arms were. I would not need to do this fucking shit. But I gotta lash out somehow. But mainly I gotta lash out against this goddamn society. Because they don't give a fuck. They ain't even doing it. Lifting one finger to help me ease the pain. No, it's not. No, seeing a shrink ain't gonna. Talking about this shit ain't gonna help. With a goddamn. Only action. Proactive, not a bunch of fucking talking running our mouths. That doesn't get shit. I gotta get post electromagnetic field therapy at least so I can be pain free. And then work toward get my cosmetic surgeries. So what if it's unnecessary? It, it's necessary for me to be happy. Nothing else will make me happy, so fuck off if you don't understand. And if you don't care, I'm ready to poison your kids, old society, for not caring. Payback's a bitch, god fucking damn it. And you earn everything you get. You fucking ass goddamn cunt. This god, this fucking society. Why couldn't it be like it was back in the 80s? But even then, they probably would have really not cared about me. Well, Time to start slinging crack or something to make big money so I can get the cosmetic surgery. If you want something done, you gotta do it to goddamn self. Cause nobody else gives a fuck. I bet you after I get, if I get the cosmetic surgery and become a good looking guy, they'll start caring about me. 
And even if they don't, as long as I'm happy with myself, the world, the whole world can go to hell. Fuck the world. As long as I'm happy, all every one of you goddamn motherfuckers can go to hell. I don't give a fuck. Just as long as I have my heaven down here on earth. So fuck every goddamn one of y'all who don't care about me. Fuck y'all. Go to hell. Suck a dick. Just keep your filthy lace off my clean dick, you goddamn motherfuckers. Fuck every goddamn one of you. Fuck you. Fuck you, Dr. Dr. Phil. Fuck you, Dr. Oz, for not helping me. Fuck every goddamn one of you. Fuck you, Oprah Winfrey. Fuck you for... Fuck you.